Connecticut is battling election misinformation with a new internet cop. But News 12 Connecticut Sean Craven says it comes with a hefty price tag. On social media, it's easy to find rumors and outright lies about elections. Now Connecticut is fighting back. We have eyes and ears now that are able to help protect Connecticut elections. Scott Bates is Deputy Secretary of the State. His office is hiring a new elections information security analyst to identify misinformation in real time. The salary? $150,000 a year. Why do we need an election misinformation analyst? We were able to identify a couple instances in 2020 where somebody said, oh, a bunch of ballots turned over in a tractor trailer truck on I-91. Wasn't true. It's not just Connecticut. Colorado created a rapid response team. We're going to pay somebody $150,000 to troll the Internet. Critics say the government shouldn't decide what constitutes misinformation. We should be putting it in, in sort of a nonpartisan office, such as state ethics or election enforcement's commission. Connecticut will also monitor the dark web and fringe political sites like 4chan both tied to the January 6th riots. And then they end up migrating those narratives over to more mainstream platforms. Where Former CIA analyst Cindy Otis literally wrote the book on spotting fake news. She says states are easy targets. Targeting local elections, state elections is certainly one way that malicious actors might try to increase that distrust of the voting population. Distrust that can have dangerous results. John Craven, News 12, Connecticut. More about this new position on Connecticut power and politics. You can watch it right here at the Times on your screen, or you can do it anytime on News 12's app or News12.com.